Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha Situation, 
for your wife, your family, your children. So that's dua from Quran. Oh, our Lord, give us the Hassan. This Hassan is excellent, beauty. You know somebody named Hassan, right? Beautiful, handsome. Hassan, ah, pretty, pretty, right? Beautiful. It's excellence. In this life, because from here, the proven ground determine where you go in the act here, right? Those who believe in all the doers of good in this life are promised gardens under which rivers flow, etc., right? So you want the best in this life, but it's consistent. Well, feel accurate, Hassan. And we want that same Hassan, that same beauty, that same excellence in the act here. In the life beyond this life. And it says, Wacky and protect us from the torment of the hellfire in this life and in the next life. And the word that's used, Wacky, it comes from Tukwa. Wacky, Wacky. Now we know the word Wali, right? The, the, the guardian, the protector, the sister, and whoever. Wali, our Wali is friend. But it doesn't use Wali. It says, Wacky, Wacky, Tukwa. It comes from Tukwa. Where Allah says in Juma, He says, Fasting is prescribed for you like it prescribed for those before you. So you will come into this taqwa, this loving fear of Allah. So you want that, use that word for protection. So as we go after the life of this world, we go at it with the right mindset. A loving fear of Allah. We're not just going at it to oppress and enslave anyone to get this life at any cost. It's a balance. And we don't look to the act here and neglect our responsibility in this life. So it's the balance, do I? The best now and later. But protection now and later from the big alpha. So we pray that do I, and we pray that Allah, the Most High, glory be to Him, the Most High, as we talked about last week, SubhanAllah. Tell me what you say, you, you hear me say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. In the door. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Allah starts out Juma. Surah Juma, which is Surah 62 of Quran. Read it. The first ayat it says, You send bihu. You send bihu lilahi mafi semewati wa ardi maliku kudusu azizu hakim. That whatever is in the heavens and the earth. That's Surah Juma. We hear Juma, right? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. You send me who, right? It's glorifying Allah. Whatever's in the heavens and the earth. That's Surah Juma. So although we're doing it all the time, we're in coordination with everything in the heavens and the earth here on Friday. But we're here to glorify Allah. No one else. So that's Surah Juma. That's how I start out. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You send me who, letting you know everything in the heavens and the earth, glorify Allah. In Juma. As Al Malik, the sovereign ruler, Al Qadus, the Holy One, Al Aziz, the Powerful One, Al Hakim. On Friday, it's Juma. That's how it started out. So let us know when we come to Juma, that's the mindset. Even before it says, close the business. That comes later in that story. So it lets you know why you're closing the business. Why you coming to Juma. And then the second ayat, it says, it is He who raised up from among the Umina. Rasul and men who are messenger from among themselves to purify them, to recite his signs, to purify them, and what? You only muhumul kitab al hikmah, and to teach, to teach them the book and the wisdom of the book. Whereas before they were clearly of the dolly. You see? Beauty of Quran, beauty of Al Islam. So from that, from that dua, so we want the best. So, dear believers, as we said just now last week, we focused on Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And we looked at the, the breakdown. We won't stay there. You have the word Subhan, Subhan, and and just so you'll know in pronunciation, when you say Subhan, it might sound like a P, right? There's no P in that, in Arabic. So it's like Sub, Sub. But it's sub, like submarine, sub, sub, sub sound, sub, S-U-B, substitute, right? So sub, hand, S-U-B-A-A-N, 
subhan. But the root is the S, the B, and the H. Subhan. S B H. So that's the root, right? When you have subhan. Now you have, as we mentioned, you just heard me say, you sep be who? Sebahan. It's an S double B in the H, right? That's a Sebahan is the verb, the act of praising, right? The act of praising. But then from that is also a word where Allah says, the sun and the moon, they swim. And you know what that word is? Sebah, from the same root. So when you're glorifying Allah, it's like with the discipline, right? The beauty that works every muscle, right? In our body, right? All the health benefits. It's a, it's, you know, it's like this. Uh, Subhanallah. 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 Right? Nice and smooth, right? And if you know how to swim, I'm not saying, but it's not just physical swimming. Swimming is good for you, but what's better? So that's why it's connected. Just like swimming gets you from one place to another and can save your life if you drown it, right? Or it help you save somebody else, right? So, so, seven by hand. You can look that up. Seven by hand. The sun and the moon, Allah says, it swims. Seven by hand. Subhan, all of them come from the same root. They're just derivative, right? So we talked about that last week. So whenever you, subhanAllah, subhanAllah, know, brother, that you're in that beautiful water because what? Allah says, all life comes from water. And he say the sun and the moon, he used the word swim, right? And we think of swimming in water. Well, what is the water at? For us, the water comes from up there where the sun and the moon is. That's where the water is. In fact, it's the sun and the moon that draws it up and a fine mist that the naked eye can't detect. Uh, detect. We can't see it going up. But we see it coming down. You know them lakes, oceans, all that? You know how that water get up there? So it's the sun and the moon working together. Mostly the moon we associate because it's closer to us. But it's, it's the gravitational pull that pulls it up, form clouds, etc., right? And things change in the atmosphere and the water come down. But we don't, it's going up right now. That's why we have to believe in the unseen. We don't see wind and air, right? We don't see that water going up, but it comes down. So it goes up with the sun and the moon in that environment. And Allah says he made the sun and the moon swim perfectly courses. So all that comes from the same word. Subhanallah, subhan, subhan, subhan. Sebehan. Sebehan, double B, and Sebehan, one B. You know, it's like ill, ill, knowledge. Iron land mean, right? And we say ill, or you say element. See, that's the teaching. Element. Element of Quran. It says in Surah Rahman, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Listen. Oh, Rahman. First ayah. Element. Element of Quran. You see? Element, he taught Quran. He taught him what? The ilm. So, alhamdulillah, I mean, we talked about that a little bit last week, but always remember, subhanAllah. So, you hear me, anybody say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You say, Allah, glory be to him, the most high, right? So, dear believers, since we, well, we did say hikmah in Juma, he raised up the hikmah to to teach the book and the wisdom. So let us go to Surah Luqman, Surah 31. And it ties into al fatiha and everything, right? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Luqman the wise and his son, right? Allah says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Listen carefully. It sounds just, it starts out like Baqarah. Elif Lamim. That's how the second surah starts, right? But this one, that's the first ayah. The second ayah, if they grab your attention, it says, Tuka ayatul kitabil hakim. You see, we're back to wisdom. These are the verses of the book of wisdom, or the wise book. Quran. Always remember, it's a book of wisdom. So remember this. When you recite or quote Quran, or say something based on Quran, never think you're ignorant. Never think you behind somebody else. We on level. Allah go by what you know. That you are reciting wisdom because it's a book of wisdom. Clear here, right? Allah says these are the verses of the wise book. 
So when you quote Quran or say something based on Quran, know you're projecting wisdom, brothers and sisters. That's this Quran. That's this day to bring us out of darkness into light. Never feel inferior. Never feel less than another brother that know this thing. Once you go to Quran, which it is the Quran that brought about the growth, development, and complete metamorphosis of Muhammad the Prophet Islam. Aisha Rani Allahu Anha said what? He was the living Quran. So, listen to how this goes. Elif Lami. That's Luqman. These are the ayats, the signs of the book of wisdom. And we just quoted uh, Juma. And the word, and in Surah Juma, the last attribute in that first ayat is Al Hakim. You send me whom Allah Mafi send me what I what man feel aren't they? Listen. Malikul Kudusul Azizul Hakim. Right? So that's wisdom. Try to do that. Then the second ayat, say he raised up one to do what? You enemy muhumul kitab and well hikmah. To teach the book and the wisdom, right? Now this is the book of wisdom. And like Bakura, look how Bakura said. It says, and this land mean. This is the book where there is no doubt it is a guide to those who have a loving fear of Allah, right? Tafwa. This one said, these are the ayats of the same book, but it's a book of wisdom as well. You see, but it started out, and this land mean, just like the other one, it says, it, These are the verses of the wise book. And you know, I say for you all, I don't have time to go to it. Wisdom. Always remember, if you quote Quran, whatever you say from Quran, you're projecting wisdom. Never think you don't. Now, when you go to Ali and Ram, the third surah, and Allah speaks to the Quran, he says, some of the verses are mu, mu, listen, mu. And what they're translated as basic. And others are allegorical. But the basic ones are called what? Umul Kitab. The mother of the book. The one that produces all, right? But but the word for basic, go read that. It's, it's maybe three, four ayahs into Ali Imran. It says, Mu, Mu, the Amazon. Mu, Mu, Kemantu. Wisdom. But, but it's translated as the base. The basic ayahs are rooted in wisdom. So whatever basic understanding you got, you got wisdom. Never underestimate that. If you're in Quran, that's why we stay in Quran. So here, just moving on from this so Luqman, right? And we <laughs> dealt with two ayahs, really one, right? But and the mystic letter. Now, listen carefully. The third ayah says this. It says, after Allah tells us the verses of the book, that the book of wisdom, it says this. All praises are due to Allah. It's a book of wisdom, but it's also guidance, who then? And mercy to those who do good. Now we stay here for me. Just like Bakr would have started, right? And if that mean, now, before we get there, listen to it. In El Fatiha, right, brothers, sisters? And every Rafa we recite El Fatiha, right? The sixth ayat is when we demand something, right? We demand what? Guidance. We say, eh, then that's Surat al Mustaqim. Eh, then that. Guide us on the straight path, right? Then when you go to Bakura, it tells you where the path is, where the guidance is, right? It's the Mustaqim, right? That's what we pray for in El Fatiha, every Raqqa. Then in the second surah, it says, This is the book where there's no doubt it is guidance for the sincere, right? So you pray there, you go to the next page, Allah tell you, it's in the book. Now we come to Luke Man. And Allah says, 
Tilke ayatul kitabul hakim, but it continues holding what you ask for. Guidance and rahmatil who? Lil muqsini. So it is guidance, but it's also mercy. Don't we all need, we want guidance in our life, what to do, how to get from point to point, how to practice, how to do whatever, right? But we also know that we're not perfect, and it's only by the mercy of Allah most of us are still here. We always need mercy, right? And Allah said he's written mercy upon himself. So he said, Quran is book of wisdom, but it's guidance and a mercy to who? What we start out with. Rabbana antina fi dunya hasana, right? Now here how go. Muhsini. You hear how? The em muhsini. To those who do good. Those who do excellent deeds. Those who help humanity. Those who help the world. Those who give in charity. Now we say believe in do good deeds, but it says those who are the good doers, who do good. Muhsini. Those that are good and honorable, right? that are strive to be beautiful and pretty and all of those good things. So Allah says, it is a guide and mercy to those who are of the good, who do good. Now, listen carefully. I do this all the time. Now, the word is, as we say, Hassan, Hassan, Hussein, Husna, etc., right? Hassan, H-S-N, right? Now, you put it, Muhsinin, is the person that has that Hassan. Now, here's an example. As then, you call it, right? The person who called it is what? Mu as then. That's how it works, right? This is the place for prayer, salah, right? But what is it called? Mu salah. You see? Salim, peace. Salam, peace. You put the M on it, it's what? Muslim, the person of peace. So you see how it works? Sajda, suju, SJD. But what is the whole place called? You put an M on it, it's what? Masjid. So this M is the, it makes it a noun. So you have Hasana, who's saying all of that, but you put the M on it, little Muqsini, those people who possess goodness. Alhamdulillah, Rebbe Alameen. That's so Luqman, Alhamdulillah. That's power of Quran, right? Beauty of Quran. Book of Wisdom. And in the fourth ayah, goes all the way back to the top, opening up Quran. Fourth, it says, those who do good, those who have this hustle, this beauty, striving for goodness, right? Eladina, Eladina, you kimon as salat, and those who establish salat. But listen to the word, you kimon, kyaun, kyaun, yamel kiyama, the day of standing. This first position is called Kiyam, right? Stand up, right? When you go on Hajj or Umrah, you go to Mekkelm al Ibrahim, where Ibrahim stood, right? So this in the Muezzin, he says, Ikama, it's the Q and the M, you know it's a W there, you hear? Ikama means what? Stand up, Kiyam. In the day of resurrection, it's called Yam el Kiyam, the day of standing, right? So it says, those who, those who are living in Yuki Moon Estalat, who stand up the Salat. And how do the Salat start? Standing up. And so it's establishment because establishment means something that has been standing for a long time, over and over and over again, right? Those who establish, stand the Salat up. Come to Salat. <laughs> Although the most humble position is Sajda, right? And we end up down there where it says, come to Salat, stand up. And we also, Allah says, look at Tullah now and stand at the Asani Taqwim. I created mankind in the best Taqwim, upright posture. And we pray in that upright position. What do we say? God is on what? Surata Mustaqim, the upright path. You see the beauty of Quran? So anyway, it says, those who establish the Salat, you're familiar with that, you can more than Salat, what you do as Zakat, so that's why we say Salat and Zakat. When you pray, you give in Zakat, right? So, those who establish, who pray, but also give in Zakat. Now, this word Zakat means growth 
purification. You know somebody named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. That means pure. Somebody that's pure and clean. And all. You see what I'm saying? Zacchaeus, right? So, and also when you read uh, 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 Juma and other places, you say Muhammad the prophet's job is Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus to purify them. So the Salat helps us to purify ourselves, right? So after Salat is Zakat, growth and development, right? And when you give Zakat itself, that helps purify the community, hopefully not to depend on somebody else, right? And all of that, the taxes and all that, right? So Allah says, those who establish Salat, but give in charity, give in Zakat, right? But also they're purified. And it says, Zakat, uh, uh, Zakat, whom? Bil ad iratihum yukinun and they are certain of the ad here in their spirit. Isn't that something? An indication that you're certain of the ad here is you praying to your Lord. The unseen. We don't see the ad here. We have to believe in the body, right? Unseen, right? So we're praying to Allah, the unseen, because we know. As, as if we've been there, that the result of good is good. That there's a life beyond this one. So it doesn't use those who believe. It says, yukti mune, yukti nune, yakin. A lot of people say yakin haq, right? Certain truth. Ainal yakin, right? It says, he speak of certain vision. Ilnal yakin, certain definite. So they are definitely, they definitely no, there's a life beyond this life. And so because of that, they do certain things in this life because they know they got to pay up. So this is what Allah says. All this here. So we'll just read that and close the first one. Allah says, Elif lam mim tilka ya tilki tabul hakim hudan wa rahmatil lil muqsinin alladhina yukimun as salat wa min mavar that nahum hums hum. Yes, Salat, yes, you too, as a cat, where whom will Akirati whom you can And they are certain of the hereafter. And then Allah says, and so a Lukman of those, we're certain, brothers. We conduct our life as we know, we haven't been there. That's how strong your faith is, that nothing can shake you. That, that not, it doesn't use the word believe here. It's certain of the act here. That there's a life beyond this life. There's something beyond this. When we pass from this, that's not it. There's a transition. So they believe that they have this certain. And Allah says, O la ika ala huda mi rabbi him. Well, O la ika humu muflihum. Allah says, These are those who want guidance from their Lord. And these are those who will be what? Successful. Mufli home. Now when you read Bakara, right? The first five ayat, isn't that how the fifth one ends? It says, Ula ike, yeah? Ula ike humul mufli home. You read the fifth ayat as we go through the five of Bakara, and that's how I say, these are those that will be successful. Take note of this when we close. Listen to the word success. Mufli home. The root is F L H, Muf Lihum, okay? Those that would be successful. Now, where do we hear the word successful? In the advance, the first thing you, you hear before Salah, one of the things. How does it end? Haya Fala, F L H, right? Haya Fala, come to success. Come to cultivation. Haya Fala. And we also know. So at 23, the believers, it says what? Kat F lahat mu'minun, right? The believers will be successful, right? We got that, right? Felan, success. So Juma, the way that ends, ayat, ayat 10, when it says, when the salat is over, disperse, you know how it ends? La el lakum tuf lihum. So you come to Juma, Allah wants you there, so you will be successful. Then after the Juma, Allah says, disperse. Think on Allah a lot, right? But he says what? He says, at the end, it ends this way. So you will be successful. 
So that's why we're here to glorify Allah so that we will be successful. That's what Allah wants. And how do we know? Right? And you will believe her? So here Allah says, right here, Allah says, Ulaika Allah who them run be him. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulahi kareem, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ba'ad. Pray that Allah accept our jumah today, took by the salat. Alhamdulillah, always pray that on my way here, everybody be comfortable and safe. And we pray Allah that he will always put his mercy and protection on us as a community and on each and every one of you, and one of us. And also pray that I can say something to benefit always, every time on my way here. Because that's what the jumah is for. So if you're not comfortable, I'm not comfortable. Now I'm a little hot. You know, we didn't put the air on yet, but we will next as it get hot, okay? See some of y'all sweating. I'm sweating too, but inshallah we get there. <laughs> so, dear believers, so we went to five ayahs in Surah Luqman. And remember how this surah starts. It says, Book of Wisdom. Now it's named after Luqman. Now look what Allah says. It's, it's, you gotta love this man, Quran, Muhammad the Prophet, this deen. Listen to what it says about Luqman. If you go to Ayah 12, where it says, it, Allah says, Well, Allah, attain al Luqman al, listen, Luqman al Hikmate. <laughs> we surely gave Luqman wisdom. <laughs> you see how it goes? It starts out saying wisdom. Then when they talk about Luqman, we gave him wisdom. So everything you hear from Quran from Luqman is wisdom. And so what does it say Luqman says? It says, and this Lahi, he was grateful to Allah. You see? He was grateful to Allah, and it says he says, he was grateful to Allah, and Allah says, and whoever is grateful to him. Is only grateful to his own soul. You'll be grateful and thankful to Allah. It's for the benefit of your own soul. And Allah says, whoever is ungrateful, when men kafir, for in Allah had done the And whoever is ungrateful, doesn't matter. Allah is totally independent, totally independent, worthy of praise. And 